Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Yaltline and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a 24-7 music live stream with song titles and a current sub count. So, um, a lot of you may already know a few aspects of how to do a 24-7 uh, music live stream, but you just haven't been able to piece it together. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do this. It's really, really easy, uh, to be honest. So what one of the first things you're going to want to download is you're going to want to download OBS which is open broadcaster software most of you guys probably already have this as it's uh, probably the largest service for download uh, for recording and streaming gameplay and just it's just a pretty big uh, like broadcasting software so just download it um, export it make sure everything's installed and everything should be good also I will leave the link to my um, Google Drive where where I have three of the things you will need for this tutorial and one of them being snip which you will want to download and then after that you should get a um, you should export it and its files and it should come up with a window like this which you'll be able to find wherever you exported it you want to open up snip run it make sure it's open right go to your desktop icons right click go to set output format and you want everything to be the same as this and I think I used the defaults to be honest so you probably don't have to worry about that and what you're going to want to do is you're going to also set it to VLC, Spotify or, or iTunes um, I would recommend using VLC or Spotify um, or iTunes I probably wouldn't use Winamp, Fubar 2000 uh, I'm not quite sure what they are but I'm pretty on with VLC, Spotify and iTunes mainly Spotify and VLC though um, but it's really easy to make playlists and things on there so uh, I would recommend using them so what you're going to want to do is for this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to do it on VLC um, to be honest it's pretty much the same on every single one anyway so what you're going to want to do is you're going to find your music I have a XXX Tentacion, um folder here so you go into VLC media player open folder and you will want to select the folder in which all your music is on. See, it is playing currently now for XXX Tentacion Scarlet's Revenge. And when we go over to the stream, um, it should say it on here. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to get it onto a stream. We're going to make a new scene, and the first thing you're going to want to do is add text GDI, put it in. Um, I would recommend using a large size font and using some thin text because it looks quite nice. Uh, for, well, what I use is Titilium Lite. It's a very nice looking font and I would recommend it to most people. So re click read from file, go to browse, find your snip folder um, and click on the file which is called snip. This will basically show whatever you're playing at that current time through uh, the service that you have selected so I've selected VLC so it's currently showing what I'm playing on VLC so it's pretty pretty simple so um, go back and the next thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to show the sub count or have the image slideshow I'm going to show you how to do the image slideshow first and then I'll get on to the sub count for the image slideshow I have created a um, a kind of uh, folder for myself so just basically get an assortment of photos if it's on a certain artist get some pictures of the artist if it's a certain genre kind of get some pictures which associate with the genre or just go ones that look nice aesthetically so um, go to pictures I've got mine in a music live stream folder just so then I remember what it is and it's got all the photos I need uh, you want to go to what is it? Which one is it? It's transform and stretch to screen. That means it will get the uh, it will be the right aspect ratio for the stream. And you, as you can see, everything looks good. Um, also, you want to gonna you're gonna make sure that the text is on top of that, so when you actually see it whilst the stream's on. If you want to make the bottom pictures look nice, there is two more files in the 24/7 Music Kit uh, Google Drive that I've made. It's the vignette and the smoky overlay to add them in you to get those images make th so just find them I've put them in my pictures I think or 
Have I? I might have put them somewhere else. But anyway, they should be here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. Um, I'd recommend you putting the vignette on first, but I'm just going to show this one first because it is probably the more difficult one to put on. So you just stretch it over, go to right click, uh, filters, add um, image mask and blend, go to alpha channel, browse path, put on the picture again. Um, select color. I've put my color as white, and uh, I think I might have added the no wait. It's addition, and I've put my opacity on about fifty, so it kind of overlays itself onto it. Uh, the reason my stream looks kind of bad at the minute is possibly because I've got low quality images. But anyway, put the image below the text if so text isn't affected much, and also add another image. And the second image will obviously be the vignette, which kind of contrasts with the um, cloud overlay that I've put on there. So it kind of looks quite nice. So just put the vignette on. You don't have to worry about changing that one. You just have to resize it. And there you go. It looks quite nice. And I think it's really nice. And for the um, live subcam, what you're going to want to do is you want to, you want to go onto Stream Labs dot com and sign in with your youtube account you go to stream labels on the left side and download that it will export all its files onto a certain directory that you've gave it and uh you want to open up the stream labels uh app see you can see whoever's subbed you see i've got i'm um, gibson subbed so <laughs> shout out to him he's got 300k subs so that's pretty crazy but anyway um just keep that open so then it's everything's um new like everything's updated as it happens and then add text gdi again it's like the same fonts as did before just something that looks nice so i've got titillium uh, find it and there it is and read from file again browse and you should be able to find the file where you put it so Mine's in stream files, go down, total YouTube subscribe account, open up that, and it should be right there. Look, I've got currently 694 subs, just resize it so it's quite large so it's e e able to see it. And then the next thing you should add is just some normal text and uh, make the font Tilium again. Put it the right size, 72. And put text as something like road to one to one K. Just give you like a kind of um, goal so then a lot more people want to sub and centralize it your way if you want. And that's basically all you have to do. Um, I'll show you also how to make it so it plays a GIF. So, what you're going to want to do is just go on Google, find a background GIF, say one of these, and you go on to image I'm pretty sure you'll be able to put these on image wait I think you can put it on image I know you can put it on media source definitely but I will just check that um, yeah I'm pretty sure you can it'll continue to play it all at once so you can put it on the image slideshow so you can put a, a, a range of gifs on on it like all at once so you put that on Put it under your text and everything, and it should look quite nice. There we go, and that is basically all I have got to show for you today. Um, I hope this tutorial did help you guys make a successful 24 7 uh, music live stream. If it did help, make sure to leave a like. Let's try and get this uh, video pretty popular, so make sure to leave a like. Also, comment down below, and if you know anyone who does want to make a 24 7 music live stream, make sure to share this with them. And uh, that is all I've got for you guys today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.